Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Saturday, October the 9th. It's the 19th week after Pentecost, and week 7 in the Psalm Cycle, and please join me. Oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Bless the Most High, O my soul. Most High God, you are great. Alleluia. Psalm 104. And please recite it with me. Alleluia. Bless the Most High, O my soul. Most High God, you are great, clothed with honor and majesty. You cover yourself with light like a garment. <clears throat> you stretch out the heavens like a curtain. You lay the beams of your chambers in the waters. You make the clouds your chariot and ride upon the wings of the wind, and make the winds of your angels and your ministers flaming fire. You laid the foundations of the earth, that it should never be moved. You covered it with the seas like a garment. The water stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they flee. At the voice of your thunder they run away. They go up by the mountains. They go down by the valleys to the place which you have made for them. You have set a boundary which they may not pass, that they may never again cover the earth. <clears throat> you send the springs into the valleys, watch run among which run among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them shall the birds of the air have their habitation, which sing among the branches. You water the hills from your chambers. <clears throat> the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your works. You make the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for the service of the children of the earth, that you may bring forth food from the earth and wine that makes our hearts glad and oil to make our faces shine and bread which strengthens our heart. Your trees are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon which you have planted, where the birds make their nests. As for the stork, the fir trees are her house. The high hills are a refuge for the wild goats and the rocks for the rabbits. You appointed the moon for the seasons. The sun knows it's time for going down. You make darkness and it is night where all the beasts of the forest creep. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat from God. <clears throat> the sun rises, they gather themselves together and lie down in their dens. People go forth to their work and labor until the evening. O oh God, how wonderful are your works! In wisdom have you made them all. The earth is full of your riches. Yonder is the great wide sea, where there are innumerable living things, both small and great. There go the ships. There is that Leviathan, whom you have made to play there. These all wait upon you, that you may give them their food in due season. That which you give them they gather. You open your hand, and they are filled with good. You hide your face, they are troubled. You take away their breath, they die, and return to dust. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Your glory shall endure forever. You shall rejoice in all your works. You look on the earth and it trembles. You touch the hills and they smoke. And I will sing to you as long as I live. I will sing praise to you, my God, while I have my being. My meditations of you shall be sweet. I will be glad in you. Let the sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Most High, O my soul. Praise God, Most High. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Bless the Most High, O my soul. Most High God, you are great. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 9, beginning at verse 35. The harvest is great, the laborers are few, and the twelve apostles. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them, 
because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Then Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to cure every disease and every sickness. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First, Simon, also known as Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector. James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus. Simon, the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, the one who betrayed him. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. We are created by your word, Most High One, and your creation tells your glory in all the earth. Hide not your face, but renew us each day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.